I got you. Good girl. She's been a little uh, listless the last couple of days. I think that it was a lot on her, maybe physically, but for sure, you know, mentally, just not knowing where home is and stuff. But she's doing good, she's eating. Thank you everyone for the well wishes. And I'm still pursuing getting that uh, GPS collar and we're gonna get her chipped and, and a uh, tag. In this video, we're gonna talk about a plan to get unstuck if you're in a little van in this case a pro master we were out looking for a camp spot like a better camp spot the day that uh savannah turned up missing and we got stuck in ron's van and he's a good driver and he's got some good tires and so if it happens to him and a pro master it could happen to anyone we're going to show you what we did to get out we've got links in the description affiliate links to those products which i highly recommend but if if not, get something, have a plan in case you get stuck because out here, I've been stuck a few times. It's just kind of inevitable and it's better to be prepared than to kind of twist in the wind in the hopes that uh, a tow truck's gonna be available and in your area and uh, you know take that hit, which could uh, be a heck of a lot more expensive than having some recovery gear. So let's take a look. It's a soft shackle. Yeah. Screws into the front of the ProMaster. We got stuck out here in the desert looking for a camp spot and I just want to show you guys some equipment we're going to use and uh, we're using some tracks to get up underneath the rig and that's not saving us yet so we went and got another ProMaster <clears throat> and we're going to tie it into what Ron has here which is a kinetic rope made, a, made by Rhino uh yeah And here we're still show you there's our tracks and we're in pretty deep just trying to turn around you can see somebody else did it and got away with it we didn't get away with it you see we got the distance of a track but then that's all we got so becca's off getting her pro master and we're just gonna see this stuff in action. If you ever, you know, if you're living the van life, bus life, it's good for you to have this stuff on you because a tow, what's a tow, 150 bucks? Uh, well, last time I did a tow, it was like 450 bucks. 450 bucks last time Ron did a tow. And uh, you, could, you could acquire all this gear and have it on you for probably that. And then on top of which, you've got it with you and you don't have to wait because today's a Sunday. And what if everybody's, uh, you know, not answering their phones? So anyway, I just wanted you to see our predicament and what we're using. Rhino, we're much lower on the passenger side. Let's see if we can A, get it unstuck, and then if not get it unstuck, not get it worse. Put it in, put it into reverse, and just put your, take your foot off the accelerator, and uh, let the uh, engine work it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, he's ready. Cool. That wasn't too bad. We got pulled out on the first try. I see the value in those uh, tracks, but more so when he, you saw, when he jerked it back, it didn't jerk me at all. That rope is designed to create a bunch of kinetic energy 
and then pull you out and it did its job. So if you're in a ProMaster, if you're living the van life and you're out here, I mean, we're just in a place that anybody would potentially be. You might want to pick one of those up. All right, I'll see you. It felt fine. It felt absolutely fine. So this is a, a, an air pump. Air compressor, hydraulic but, jack electric. It's an electric hydraulic jack. So it's got hydraulic fluid in it. Right. What's the weight range on it? Well, it says 11,000 pounds. So that would be the max vehicle weight. It's not picking up the whole thing. It's just picking up a corner of the vehicle. It looks a little dusty. Have you used it before? Uh, it's just in the front. I have another one that I used uh, quite a bit until my uh, one of my guys decided to use it as a speed bump in the back of the lot and crushed it. Don't drive over it. <laughs> right. But yeah. Nice you don't have to get a lever in there and try to work a lever. Yeah. <laughs>